Hi, this is Rob from Intelligent Irrigation, LLC, and I'd like to introduce you to our newest product line, which is the Bounty Compost Tea. So you can get this off our website, and right now, uh, we just got some in, so we want to open the package here and see what we got. First thing that comes this is uh, kind of a manual that gives you the directions on what to do, and a DVD. Give you some hands-on instructions, got some nice packing material. Okay, let's see, we got the M3 Marine Mir Mineral Magic, and that's part of the mix for the compost tea mix. And we got some more packing, and let's see what else we got here, it's some Bioactivator. The Bioactivator Compost Tea Food Source. This will also go in the compost tea mix. So there you have that. We have the Mineral Magic see that and well we got the pump for the aerator that you comes with 120 volt pretty cool and of course the aerator itself comes with a dual pump to hook up as you can see it's got two outlets there so looks like it would hook up like so drop in the bucket there so that's pretty cool lay that down for you to see we got the screen for the compost tea. And we also got the Alaska Luma soil. So there's three bags. In each bag, this is for two quarts. So it looks like we got enough for three mixes here. One, two, and three of the Alaska Luma soil. So I guess what we'd like to do now is the only thing there is left to do and mix a simple batch of tea. So come along with us. We're going to mix up this batch of tea right now. We're going to use the M3, obviously the bioactivator, hook up the pump, and let's just see how this stuff works. So we'll be right back with that episode. Okay, so we're here indoors, and we decided to do the brewing indoors because it's like 105 out there and it's really hot. So not only hot to shoot a video, but hot to brew the tea, I think, too. So here we go. We got the water brewing, and we got the Alaska humus soil. So right here, this is two quarts, and it's going to be enough for one brew. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this open, and I'm going to put it in our aerated water right now. This is dechlorinated water, by the way. When I went out and I filled the bucket, I filled this bucket out of the water that's dechlorinated by the Green Knight Garden Grow dechlorinator. So we got some dechlorinated water, and we got four gallons. Now four gallons is right up to this ridge right here. So if you order this kit. And you don't have any majoring devices, just right up to there is the four gallons. And what we're going to do right now is pour the Alaska humus oil in there so we can start our brew. Now this is for 24 hours. So you can see we're going to come in here. And just kind of wiggle it around there. And we start to brew. Okay, as you can see we got... We're using the net, and of course it says that the net is optional, but in our in our case it's not optional because we're using the AquaJet, and we're going to use this to pour over the plants, but we're also going to put it through the AquaJet, so this uh, filter is a good thing for that. So we recommend that you use that you do use this netting when you mix the uh, the bounty and when you use the AquaJet. So. Our next is a bioactivator. Now we need one cup of activator, and there should be three cups in here because we have enough for three brews here. So let me open this box here. So we have a bounty bioactivator. And there you have it. It looks pretty cool actually. I'm going to get a close up of that. Nice soil in a Ziploc bag here. So, all right, so Jim is opening this up. think. <laughs> Seems, oh, there we go. That. Okay, sometimes it's a danger of doing things on camera. Okay, so here we got one cup measuring cup, and we're going to pour some of this in there. Get as close to a cup as we can here. Okay, there you see the one cup activator, and we're going to throw that into our solution now. And 
into our netting. This is some really cool stuff we'll go on here. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to stir that in. And we have one more ingredient to go. Okay, we're going to put this back in its box here. We should have enough for two more batches. And the next is the M3. Now the M3 is going to be added later on. Well, for you guys, it's going to seem like a couple minutes. But this is going to be added at the last hour. We're going to brew this for 24 hours and then uh, actually for 23 hours, add this and let it brew for the last hour. So 24 hours total, one hour with this, and then the compost tea will be ready and we'll be ready to inject it into the aqua jet, into the garden and see the results. So we'll be back in just a moment with the additive and when we add the B3, actually 23 hours from now, but for you guys, just a couple minutes. Okay, we'll be right back. Hi, this is Rob and we're back again with the episode of the Bounty and it's been 23 hours now. And like I said, it probably seemed just like a few seconds to you guys, but here's the key ingredient to the Bounty Tea Mix. It's the M3 Mineral Magic, and you add this on the last hour of the mix. So, it's been brewing for 23 hours, we're going to brew it for 24. That means we've got one hour to go, so we're going to take the Mineral Magic and add one cup to the four gallons. It's a quarter cup to gallon, each gallon, so we have four gallons here, up to there. And we're going to add one cup and let it brew for another hour and then it'll be ready to go. What we're going to do is we're going to add it into the irrigation system but we're also going to add it as a foyer to uh, spray on top of the leaves. So we're going to do a kind of a, a dual application. So we'll do that on the next episode. But for now, we're going to brew it. So what I want to do is stir it up a little here with my brew stick. Okay. Then I'm going to put my cup of M3 Mineral Magic. Looks like some pretty good stuff here. I'll get a close up on the camera. As you can see the granular form. And now we're going to add it into the brew. Mmm, I can smell that. It smells good actually. Okay. Once again, this is going to be mixing up for the last hour. As you can see, the aerator going on, the bubbler, bubbling it up. Of course, before we added this, it smelled just like lipid tea. Guess why I call it compost tea, huh? So, there we go. We got it all mixed up, and we're going to mix this for the last hour now <clears throat> as we stir it up. So, real quick, the additives once again. For the Bounty Compost Tea Maker, you got your Alaska Huma Soil, your Bioactivator, and for the last three, your Plant Food, which is your Mineral Magic, your M3. We're going to let it brew now for an hour, and then we're going to come back, put it in our feeder, we're going to spray it on the garden, we're going to add it into the irrigation system, give it, like I said, the dual effect. So, we'll be back with that episode in just a few minutes. Okay, so we're back now and we've got the compost tea. It's been brewing now for 24 hours. We're outside, as you can see that the netting as I'm pulling up. I'm gonna squeeze all this extra out there so I can pour it in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it in my sprayer here. And then after that, I'm gonna go around back and I'm gonna pour the rest or a gallon of it into the liquid feeder. So one gallon in the liquid feeder and the rest I'm going to spray on top right here so we'll get the ones from the roots and we'll also get it from the leaves going down. So we'll give it a double whammy. I don't think they've ever done that with the compost tea before because I don't think they've ever injected it through the irrigation system. So hopefully we'll be the first ones to do that. But before we do that, we'll spray it on as a foliar through the spray right here. So I just want to fill this up real quick. This is a gallon sprayer, so we'll be able to put on a gallon. I'm going to drop this back in there. We'll be able to put a gallon on through the sprayer. So now, like I said, what I'll do is I'll take this around to the back where we have our feeder. We'll put it in the feeder. We'll get the double whammy. We're going to spray this on, and then we'll check for results. So we'll come back in a later video, you know, sometime in a few weeks to check the results of the Bounty Tea. But for now, you can go on our website and you can purchase the Bounty Compost Tea Kit 
and the whole brewing system and then after that you can replace or purchase the replacement kits on the website also. So this is Rob from Intelligent Irrigation hoping you enjoyed this episode of the Bounty Compost Tea Making Kit. So I'm going to play it right now and we'll see you on the next video. Thank <laughs> you.